Today on Pots and Trials we're looking at plants growing in containers, which is brought to you with the support of Darlac and Cobra Garden. Hello and welcome to Pots and Trials. This week we're going to have a look at maintaining plants in containers but before that if this is your first time of watching us on Pots and Trials then hello to you and thank you for finding us and just to let you know that we're on Facebook and YouTube every week so if you enjoy what you see like us and follow us tell all your friends about us and then you'll get those regular updates of what we're up to in the garden or when we're out and about but back to the subject in hand growing plants in containers Containers. we can grow pretty much anything in containers and in our little patio area here where we love to sit um, of an evening and have a glass of wine we've got ornamental plants we've got fruit we've got vegetables we've got herbs all growing in containers which is great to give a colorful and interesting display not only at this time of the year but all the way through the summer the thing of course in growing in containers is we've got to do a little bit more maintenance on them than if they're growing in the garden especially on windy days like this we've got to make sure that they don't blow over so what I've got down here is my little collection of pelargoniums and they've been doing really well through the summer we're having a little bit of a break at the moment and uh, we've been deadheading but we'll get a really good flush of them through August and into September so what you need to do if you've got any pelargoniums like this this is a regal pelargonium here you just go over them pick them over because you do get not only the dead flower heads like this one here and I'm just going to pinch that one off they snap off really easily the more of those we take off the more buds like this will form and they will then open in the next week or two and then any yellow leaves we also need to take off just makes the plant look better and it prevents any fungal diseases setting in especially if the weather's wet and the foliage stays moist by taking off these yellow leaves like that it just helps to keep them nice and healthy so it's just worth picking them over like that this one here this is one that I grow it's got this beautiful variegated leaf and what I tend to do is just to give it a trim as well because it can tend to get a little bit leggy and I want this to bush out so I'm just going to trim that back to there and that one back to there so that instantly takes those leggy shoots off will make it bush out from these buds just here but then I'm not going to throw those away because there are two potential cuttings and the way to take the cutting of course I know we've done it before but just as a reminder using sharp snips or a knife we cut it just below a joint like that and take off the lower leaf and these little fleshy bits same with this leaf here snap it off and these fleshy bits here called stipules and I'm actually going to take one more leaf off this and all we need is that couple of leaves on the top short stem small pot of compost insert that keep it moist and on a cool windowsill and that will root and we've got a brand new plant so don't throw away the little bits that you snip off what I'll do is put these in my pocket and then I'll remember to do those when we're finished other things that you can be doing is things like this fuchsia here this is a, a hardy fuchsia you know obviously go through it exactly the same take off any of the dead leaves like that any petals that have fallen down onto there it just stops them blowing around sometimes giving it a shake actually gets rid of any leaves and we've got to make sure that we water on a regular basis they dry out very quickly especially on a breezy day or if the sun's shining and I find that fuchsias particularly dry out quickly they are thirsty plants so what I'm going to do with some of these now is to stand them on a saucer like this it just means that any surplus water won't drain out through the bottom of the pot and then if it goes into the saucer they can drink it up so what I've got here is a liquid feed so I've put my liquid feed into there I'm giving that a really really good soak so all of these plants are given a liquid feed once a week with a high potash fertilizer just to keep them flowering and then what I do if it's going to be a hot day and I'm worried they're going to dry out and probably blow over or wilt a little bit is I actually just fill the saucer with a little bit more of the water in there so it's water every day liquid feed once a week that will then soak that up through the day and it means it will never wilt and it will carry on growing so you can do that with all plants large and small and as you can see here I've got a nice selection of plants there's a pomegranate there that's been grown from seed just as a shrub uh, next to this beautiful lily that's in a pot so you can really grow all sorts 
I also bring out my citrus at this time of the year to give them a bit of a summer holiday. So you can see the fruits on the lime here are, are just developing nicely. And these really benefit all citrus for being outside in the sunshine. It gets a lovely dark green glossy leaf. And here we've got the um, oranges just starting to form. Still small, but they've got quite a lot of growing. These are also given that high potash feed. But I've noticed a few dead branches. So again, oh look, the wind's actually torn that one off. So unfortunately that one's gonna be no good. So we've lost an orange there. But it's worth just checking any shrubby plants and any dead little bits of wood like this. We don't wanna leave them on, we take them off. It smartens it up. Um, and hopefully then the growth beyond there will grow so much better. So always keep an eye out for things like that. Um, Agapanthus, same feed, high potash. We can use it pretty much on everything and that encourages these really big blooms. And a little tip, if they want to flower, if you want them to flower well next year, carry on with that high potash feed, even though they're flowering now, right the way through until the end of September, and that will help to build the flower buds up in the base of the plant for next year. And just finally, to finish off, hanging baskets can be a bit of a problem at this time of the year. And this is one that's been hanging at the front of the house here. It's been quite windy, it's been a bit battered. It's got this lovely, deep, rich coloured calibre cower there, which is trailing down the side. So that needs a little bit of deadheading. We've then got the napita and this pelagonium in there, which again needs to be deadheaded on a regular basis. But it dried out a little bit. Baskets can be quite difficult to keep moist when the weather's really hot and dry and breezy. So you can put as much water in the top as you want, but it often runs through. So a little tip, I've got here an old bucket, a fertilizer bucket. I've put my liquid feed into that. And what I'm gonna do is just literally sit this on top of it like that, so that the base of the basket here is gonna go into there. It'll spill out a little bit. And that will then sit on there quite happily for a while that will soak up through the basket, through the base of the basket, really hydrate the compost. And then when that's been sitting on there for a while and it's nice and heavy, I can let it drain and hang it back up. And that will just give that a new lease of life and really bring those plants back to life. So if you've got anything in containers at this time of the year, just a bit of deadheading, old leaves off, regular watering, a bit of snipping back if necessary, and most importantly, feed them once a week with a high potash feed, you should keep them looking good for at least another couple of months so you can really enjoy them. Well, thank you for watching Pots and Trials this week. It's now time for a sit down, a cup of tea, so we can enjoy the scent of these beautiful lilies behind me. Next week, we're gonna be in the veg garden doing some harvesting, so we'll see you then. Bye.